All right, fellas, welcome back. This time I have a scenario, I guess, that I've uploaded to the share. I've never really messed around with that part of NBA 2K22, but this is the start of my 2022 season. Um, if you ever get to the off season and try to let the computer handle it, it is a complete, absolute mess. They can't draft, they can't trade, they can't sign a free agents, they can't, <clears throat> pardon me, they can't navigate the salary cap, so you see a ton of good guys in the free agent pool. So basically what I did was just handled transactions for all the teams, except free agency signing. So I did the draft myself, I made trades, I filled out the rosters, and I think I did a pretty good job. It's pretty... Uh, realistic ish but at the same time the computer did handle some things so if you want to start a 2022 season in nba 2k22 the 22 23 season uh check this check this file out um i'm gonna go through team by team and show you the rosters and you can kind of decide for yourself if you want to try it and if not well then hey i guess it's just another video that i can talk through and you guys can can see what I got going on. This is my draft class that I had uploaded about a month or so ago. Um, yeah, so uh, also in this file here, I have added some league expansion. These are two teams that were on the share, the two best ones that I saw. Uh, so you got Seattle and you got Las Vegas coming into the, into the league the following year if you get through this one. So that's just a little added bonus. Um, so yeah, let me go through the rosters and, uh, and see what we got here. Let me go ahead and start at the beginning. 76ers, I'll talk about a little bit of the teams here. And I don't remember every trade and every transaction I made, but uh, yeah, so Sixers, they're still going to roll with Embiid, Harden, and Maxi, their big three. They traded for Brandon Clark, who was on his way out from the Grizzlies. Can't remember exactly who they traded. Oh yeah, Tobias Harris. I think I shipped him to uh, Sacramento in a three-team deal. So other than that, their team still looks pretty much the same. You got Martin and uh, what rookie are they? Oh, Eric Gordon, who's kind of fallen off. He's only rated a 74 at the bottom of the roster, but he uh, they traded him for him. So there's one of my rookies right there. That is the 76ers. Milwaukee. Obviously, they got the big three here still. Uh, Andre Drummond, they signed. I had to sign him because he was a free agent, so he's got a nice fat one-year $15 million contract to hold down the middle with Lopez. And they got Patrick Beverly as a free agent. In real life, he just re-signed with the Timberwolves, but I wasn't going to go back and do all that. So Gary Harris and a couple little bench players. Thaddeus Young. This was their uh, Christian Coloco, their first-round draft pick. And... Yeah, so here's a couple more of my creative players who were signed as uh, two-way guys. Darian Sebron for um, NC State, Andrew Peterson from USC. So that's the Bucks. The Bulls, they still got their big four. Levine, DeRozan, Ball, and Vucevic. I decided to say, hey, go for it. So they traded Patrick Williams to the Pistons for Jeremy Grant to give him a pretty stacked starting five here so they still got Caruso and uh, Desan Mu who's rated 76 Olenek came over in the same trade so uh, yeah this is the first round draft pick Walker Kessler and a couple Green still holding it down he fell down to a 72 overall and uh, their two way players Kofi Cockburn and Marcus Carr two of my creative guys Illinois and Texas respectively Cavaliers, surprise of the NBA in real life. Uh, they got Garland, Allen, and Mobley. Lavert, that's a good top four. Mark Hannon, uh, Dennis Schroeder came along, three year, $36 million contract. They were able to snag as a very good backup point guard. So they still got quite a few guys. They, uh, I had a three team trade with the Magic and the Thunder. I think Kevin Love went to the Magic and some other guys, and, uh, and uh, Jonathan Isaac went to the Thunder. So the Cavs, just to save some money, they got Basley in return. 
that allowed them to sign Schroeder when they moved on from Kevin Love. Yeah, the rookie right here, Christian Braun from Kansas, creative player, and J.D. Davison from Alabama. Yeah, so another reason that I do this myself is because the teams will never sign their second round picks, which is just stupid to me. I mean, why have a second round? Nobody signs their second round picks. And in the real NBA, everybody has a, basically everybody has their second round picks on the team, whether it's a two-way deal or regular. So that's another thing I have to do manually for every team. Uh, yeah, moving on. Boston, Jason Tatum and Brown, they're still sticking with Robert Williams. Derek White, they signed Westbrook one year, $19 million. Um, I had traded him for John Wall and Filler. And if the Rockets did that in real life, they would just cut him. So they cut Westbrook and Boston picked him up. Uh, I made a trade. I'm the Nuggets. I traded Will Barton for Marcus Smart straight up. Uh, they got Hachimura from the Wizards. I don't remember. They traded for him too because the Wizards drafted a pretty good rookie. I can't remember exactly who. So, yeah, lots of veterans on the bench. Lance Stevenson, DeAndre Jordan, Eric Bledsoe way down here. Yeah. Uh, there's one of my other creative players, Pete Nance, two-way guy. What we got next? The Clippers, healthy. Kawhi Leonard and Paul George. They traded for Derrick Rose, Norm Powell, of course, and Zubak, so... These are pretty much the same guys that are on the team other than Rose. I don't remember who I traded for, but Rose is now a Clipper. And uh, let's see who else we got. Just some backup guys. Reggie Jackson's fallen off a little bit. Ratings-wise, they went with Ibaka again. They got Plumlee. So they got a lot of veterans. Compazzo, a lot of veterans to fill out that bench. And uh, Isaiah Mobley, one of my creative players from USC, the brother of Evan Mobley. Memphis made some made some moves to really go for it. They uh, I can't remember who they. I can't. I made a couple trades. I can't remember exactly what it was, but they got Rashawn Holmes from the Kings, and they got DeAndre Hunter from the Atlanta Hawks to go with a rookie, Kendall Brown, uh, Caldwell Pope signed on, and Michael DeVoe with another rookie. Yeah. So uh, the Grizzlies. Exchange Steven Adams and Brandon Clark for Holmes and Hunter to go with uh, Bain, who's, if you don't know him in, in uh, real life, he's a, he's a baller. All right, the Hawks, who um, decided to move on from John Collins. I traded him to the Spurs. Can't remember exactly who I got back. It might have been a three-team trade, but right now they're just young, Capella, and, you know, these guys who just really haven't, Boganovic has fallen off ratings wise, so has Gallinari. Uh, they traded they traded a couple guys to the uh, well I did. I did I do all these trades. I try to be realistic, I try to have it make sense, but yeah. So they traded a couple guys to the Lakers for Horton Tucker, a couple of rotation players, since the Lakers had like five players on their entire roster. Um, yeah, rookie Keegan Murray, who was with the drafted by the Spurs and traded to the Hawks in a package involving John Collins. And Caleb Houston is another first round pick. And Osman Jang, second rounder, who's overseas for a year. Moving on to the Miami Heat. Same top five: Butler, Adebayo, Harrow, Lowry. Your seven is rated 78 now. Max Struess. The uh, Pacers took on the contract of Duncan Robinson. The Hawks, or the, not the Hawks, the Heat, I think, gave him a future first round or something like that. But it, basically, they made it worth it to take that terrible contract, and Miami got Buddy Heald in return. And then just some bench players to round out the round out the thing. My man uh, Ron Harper Jr. from Rutgers was a draft pick, and five foot seven Chris Likes signed on a two way two way deal for the. For Miami. Charlotte. Lonzo or Lamelo Ball rated 92 already, only 21 years old. They traded for Christian Wood from the from the Houston Rockets, who were rebuilding big time. The rest of the players are pretty much the same. As you see, they got a new team. Carmelo signed on as a veteran. They did a sign well, they don't do they have signed offer they have actually let me start over. 
they have the ability to do sign and trades in this game, but the computer never does it. So the Hornets re signed uh, Miles Bridges, and I traded him to Portland for Nasir Little and a draft pick, maybe. That would be a pretty decent sign and trade package. Uh, that's about the going rate for stuff that happens like that in real life. So uh, Little is now on Charlotte. One of my creative players, Keon Ellis, and Gabriel Procida from Italy as a uh, draft and stash guy. The Jazz. Can't really do much, so they still got Mitchell, Gobert, Conley, Badanovic. Um, I thought about moving one of these two because they, in real life they're not happy with each other. Kind of, but uh, the, the Jazz, they're going to go as far as these two and uh, these two take him, and I don't really see a trade that makes sense. So they did pick up Harrell as a free agent. They traded for Cameron Johnson, who had one year left on his deal and uh, on his contract for the Suns, and they had a pretty deep stable of stable of big men, so he wasn't getting much run, so I made a move to move him to a team that could use him. Other than that, lots of veterans. Uh, lots of last names here. Carter Williams, Jackson Davis, and Freeman Liberty. Uh, Jackson Davis, one of my creative players, Freeman Liberty, and Alex Morales, two of my uh, created rookies who are two-way guys. Sacramento, always making moves. I decided to give them Tobias Harris and Sabonis, and uh, they had signed Colin Sexton, and I went with the move of trading De'Aaron Fox to the Houston Rockets. They decide they're going to go with a Sexton Mitchell DiPicenzio backcourt. Also have Terrence Davis. So um, they got Steven Adams. Who else did they get for? For Darren Fox. I know they got a rookie. They got Garuba. And I think they got a draft pick. Yeah, because see how they have plenty of rookies on their team. Beauchamp, McGowan's, and Jovic. So they traded Fox for Garuba, Steven Adams, and a couple of uh, first rounders. So... Sacramento repivoting their plans once again. The Knicks signed Kyrie Irving. Big time deal. He was a free agent. He went to New York. Um, they also traded for Miles Turner. And the rest of these guys still sticking around pretty much. They signed Malik Monk. Traded uh, traded um, Derrick Rose to the Clippers. I don't remember who they got in return. Probably nobody that really matters because it's just Derrick Rose. Uh, Trevor Keels, their draft pick. And, uh, yeah, so they got a pretty deep team now. How good are they going to be? Kyrie, uh, Randall, Barrett, and Turner. That's the big four right there for the Knicks. be funny that uh, Irving would sign with another New York team if they haven't lifted that vaccination mandate, which they probably will by then. All right, so the Lakers, I couldn't do much with them. Obviously, they're going to get rid of Westbrook any way they can, and they traded him for John Wall and... That's about it. So you still got James and Davis, and they just signed whoever they could. Like Gary Payton, too, is their fourth best player. So just a bunch of, just a bunch of, I don't, I, you can't really do anything with this team. They didn't have anything to offer in trades, and they didn't really have the money to sign people. So just a bunch of, bunch of bench scrubs all throughout this roster. Yeah. So uh, we'll see how it goes. They definitely need a retool uh trading anthony davis would make sense but james is still hanging around davis still hanging around they got john wall and a bunch of nothing fun times in uh, los angeles for the lakers magic they traded for kevin love uh in a three-team trade with jonathan isaac since they had drafted chet holmgren and holmgren is obviously going to start so uh they were able to move move uh Isaac for future somethings. I don't remember. So, yeah, Wendell Carter, Cole Anthony, Franz Wagner, Fultz, Love, and Suggs. How is Markel Fultz only 24 years old? So, yeah, they landed uh, Chet Holmgren in the draft. I also drafted for all the teams because the draft was a total mess when I let the computer handle it themselves. Just doesn't make sense. Uh, Max Christie was another first round pick. So, Kamagate. Gabe Brown and Cameron Magusti, but it's basically the uh, Chet Holmgren show in Orlando. That'd be a good team to run with if you you guys want to try something new and a, a young team that needs to be re, rebuilt. 
Dallas. Uh, trying to trying to make it in a post Chris Stapp's Porzingis world. Obviously, you still got Doncic. Uh, they did a they signed Bamba as a free agent and uh, traded for Kyle Anderson, and the rest of the team is just scrubs, basically. Um, yeah, so they still have Dinwiddie sticking around from the trade last year. Finney Smith was re-signed and basically a bunch of nothing. So you got a Doncic on offense, Bomba on defense, and a bunch of role players in Dallas. Moving on, the Nets. Kyrie Irving decided to leave as a free agent, so they signed Bobby Portis and they signed TJ Warren to make up for it. So uh, yeah, they got Durant, Ben Simmons, Portis, Warren, and Curry. That's uh, that's an interesting starting five. They don't have the big three anymore, although you would say that uh, Portis, Warren, and P- Portis and Warren probably represent an upgrade over part-time Kyrie Irving. Other than that, not much on the team. The young guys from last year, Bruce Brown, a couple other guys, Iguodala still hanging around, and uh, they got Carlos Al- Allison from Spain. They drafted, and uh, yeah, so. Good starting, good starting five. Not much bench production. Denver. This is my team. This is who I run with. So uh, I try. I uh, was able to sign Thomas Bryant as a free agent. I traded Marcus. I traded. Uh, who did I say it was? Will Barton for Marcus Smart to get a little bit more defense. Uh, my defense is struggling, especially perimeter. I don't like his contract, but hey, I'm not signing any free agents when I got Porter and. Uh, Murray and Jokic and Gordon making all that money. So, uh, other than that, I uh, signed a couple, a couple of guys. I signed Robert Covington, signed Justin Holiday, drafted Wendell Moore, drafted Jabari Walker, and uh, yeah. So this is my squad. We'll see if uh, Murray and Porter can stay healthy. So far, so good. All right, Pacers continue to completely reshape their team. They were able to draft Jaden Ivey. They traded Malcolm Brogdon to Minnesota for Michael Beasley, and I can't remember what else. I think it was Patrick Baldwin Jr., a first-round draft pick. Something like that, but they got good value as they continue to completely rebuild. Uh, Resigned Jalen Smith. They got Michael Beasley. They did sign Al Horford and Nerlens Noel to hold down the front court. Traded for Kyle Kuzma. Can't remember who they traded to the Wizards. We'll see them in a little bit. So I got here. Like I said, that Duncan Robinson, that contract is awful, but they got it like a first round pick and some young players, something like that. It was worth it was worth taking on the contract, basically. They also got AJ Griffin as a first round pick. So they have Griffin, they have Baldwin, and they have Ivy, which were three lottery picks on the roster. So uh, and they got Zosa as a draft and stash guy. So yeah, a lot of a lot of uh a lot of new faces there in Indiana. Interesting to see how that squad does in this game. The Pelicans, Zion Williamson, uh, is that 94 rating fair? Probably not. He doesn't. He hasn't played in a year, but hey, he's there. The, the starting five is good. And this is uh, not much change. This is what they could have next year if everybody stays healthy. Williamson, Ingram, Valanciunas, McCollum, uh, Devontae Graham. You got Hayes, Nance, and Herb Jones on the bench. So this is a team that didn't really make any moves. The roster looks pretty much the same. Uh, signed Aaron Holiday. That's about it. Yeah. So they didn't really. Yeah, they traded their first round pick in real life to the Pelic to the uh, Trailblazers. So man, they don't, their team is pretty much the same, which is a pretty deep squad. We'll see how they do. Pistons were able to draft Benedict Mathurin, so they. Didn't get one of the big three. So it's still Cunningham, Bay, Jalo, Stewart. They did sign Kendrick Nunn. I mentioned the Patrick Williams for Jeremy Grant trade. Lonnie Walker was a free agent. So they got some, they got more depth than usual, but still a really, really young team. Who else do they have? Yeah, that's about it. Very young team still, still working. But uh, Cunningham is rated in 84 now. I moved into point guard. Toronto. Another team that still has pretty much the same squad. Van Vliet, Siakam, Barnes, Gary Trent. They traded for their old friend, Jacob Hurdle. I don't remember who the Spurs got. The Spurs, they have John Collins, and they had another center, so they were able to move 
of uh, this guy here. Uh, other than that, Anunobi, a serious injury that he got last year that he's still rehabbing. Other than that, not much, not much to talk about. They drafted Tubelis in the second round. Houston. So yeah, like I said, they got De'Aaron Fox. That's an exciting backcourt. Fox and Green. Sangoon in center. Uh, they drafted Paolo Banchero, third overall. So the team, other than that, other than swapping Garuba and uh, Steven Adams, who they got in a three-team trade with Charlotte and Memphis. And Charlotte got Christian Wood. So yeah, Fox and Green, exciting backcourt, and a lot of young players to build around here. Kennedy Chandler is another one. They got Dyson Daniels. Yeah, so that's an exciting young squad if you want to try to try something new with a different team. All right. Oh, yeah, the Spurs. They had a lot of money to play with. They traded for John Collins. They signed Mitchell Robinson as a free agent. They also signed Nick Claxton as a free agent. So this is a this is a quickly rebuilt team. Lots of, lots of free agent money. They also signed Jalen Brunson. So the starting five is Murray, Brunson, Keldon Johnson, Collins, and Robinson. Colin Robinson. You ever guys ever watch uh, What We Do in the Shadows? That's a great show. Also, uh, signed Marvin Bagley, and they got their young guys still holding it down. They drafted Gene Montero. They drafted Terry Eason. Like I said, they traded their uh, Keegan Murray pick for John Collins. Suns were able to re-sign DeAndre Eaton, who tested free agency, but then he went back to Phoenix on his own. Chris Paul, Devin Booker, Michael Bridges, they traded for Kobe White from the Bulls, who he was behind Desan Moo, and he was behind Caruso. He wasn't getting much run. Sarik is back to hold down the uh, power forward spot, and then just a deep team. Blake Griffin still holding on, uh, 33 years old, rated a 74. But they still got pretty much the same squad. Thunder were able to draft. I don't know. Who did they draft? Oh, yeah, Jalen Duran, center. They picked him up at pick five. So they still have uh, Gilgis Alexander, Giddy, and Dort. Like I said, they got uh, Jonathan Isaac in a three-team trade. Um, and other than that, yeah, they got Joe Harris from the, uh, from the Nets in one of those. I'll take salary if you give me something something to, to grease the wheels, you know what I mean? And I think they got... Uh, the Nets first round pick. I can't remember who it was. One of these rookies on this team now. So they got Duran and Hardy, uh, Harrison Ingram, Jamie Jaquez. So that's uh, four rookies on the four more rookies on the roster. This will be another fun young team to play with if you want to rebuild. Timberwolves. They went with uh, Malcolm Brogdon. So they got a good starting five here. All, all rated in the 80s. Towns, Edwards, Brogdon, Russell, and Jared Vanderbilt. Their bench is pretty much the same, other than Batum. Ty Ty Washington was their first round pick. And uh, yeah, Orlando Robinson, another pick. Trailblazers. Like I said, they did the sign and trade for Miles Bridges. Um, Anthony Simons probably rated too low at a 79. But. I don't, I don't mess with ratings. So Lillard, Bridges, they re-signed Yusuf Nurkic, uh, Josh Hart, obviously, from last year, and Johnny Davis, their first-round pick. Other than that, not a lot of not a lot of depth. Armando Baycott, another draft pick. Roko Percocene, another draft pick. Uh, but it's all about, all about this top five here. And Golden State, they have basically the exact same roster. No need to really make moves here. So you got uh, Curry, Thompson, Wiggins, Poole, Draymond Green, Wiseman, Looney, Kuminga. Uh, that's a lot of a lot of depth. Uh, let's see, did they draft? Yeah, here's their draft pick. Mark Williams. Other than that, they didn't really make any moves whatsoever. They got the same squad. And Washington, they have quite a different team. Obviously, they drafted, or they traded for Porzingis. Bradley Beal re-signed as a free agent, which is kind of surprising, but uh, look at that money. I would re-sign with Washington as well. They got Oladipo. They got Kemba Walker as free agents. They were lucky enough to draft Jabari Smith, which is why they've traded Kuzma and they traded Hachimura. Um, I can't remember who they got in return, but it was it was worth it. 
they got draft picks, future draft picks, I think. I don't know. But yeah, so they got a, a lot of veterans hoping to bounce back with Oladipo and Kemba Walker and Daniel Gafford still hanging around. So that would be the Wizards. All right, so that's all the teams. Um, Yeah, uh, this is my opening day. I've uploaded this scenario. I don't know exactly where to go get it, but if you guys want to check it out, you don't feel like uh, playing a terrible, messed up version of a 2022-2023 season, you don't want to try to control all the teams, which you might have to go back in and show you this at the end here. I have all the user, all the teams set to user teams, so you can just hit the right trigger and scroll through your different teams here. And if you don't play with 30 team control, there's a way to turn it off. I'm just not exactly sure. But uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed the explanations. Uh, please subscribe, like. Please let me know what you'd like to see. Please let me know how my microphone sounds. Please let me know if the music's too high. Please let me know anything that I can do to improve. I'm trying to make this exciting. I'm trying to make this not so boring. I'm trying to make this more than just scrolling through endless menus and seeing endless ratings. Uh, doing a little bit more here and there. And uh, that's about all I got this time. So uh, enjoy. And I'll see you next time.